Doctors for Bill Clinton say the former president is back on his feet after having emergency heart surgery on Thursday. Clinton suffered chest pains and was taken to a New York hospital where he had two stents put in to a clogged heart artery. And joining us now to talk more about the procedure is Dr. Keith Churchwell, Executive Director of the Vanderbilt University Heart and Vascular Institute. Dr. Churchwell, good morning. Good morning. Um, uh, we heard the doctor who treated President Clinton talking shortly after the procedure, and he said that um, about two hours after the surgery was over, President Clinton was doing well. How serious of a scare was this, um, in your opinion? Well, any, any chest pain like this, or what we would call an unstable anginal episode, is serious. It's important that he identified it, talked to his doctor, and got to the hospital as soon as possible. Explain to us the surgery, what it entails, and what the stents can do for President Clinton's heart. The surgery is what's called a percutaneous procedure, where we place a catheter through the skin, usually from the femoral artery in the right leg, bring it up to the heart, and we identify and engage the arteries that feed the heart muscle. We're able to place the catheters in that area, then place what we call contrast, and to identify whether there's a blockage. I'm sure they went and looked at his native arteries, the arteries he was born with, and also looked at all the bypasses. And it turned out that he had a significant blockage to one of the bypass grafts that were placed five years ago. The, at that particular point, identifying the blockage, they were able to place what we call a stent, or two stents, where the blockage was to open up the blockage to restore normal blood flow. And at that point, they were done with the procedure. And you mentioned he had heart problems a number of years ago. Um, was it surprising that something like this would happen again? Well, we have to remember any procedure that we do regarding bypass surgery or the angioplasty, it's only really a temporary procedure. We're taking care of the, of the blockage at that particular point. Those blockages may recur. And it's not un un unsurprising that at the time of bypass surgery after five years that one of the bypass grafts can tend to block, block again. How important is a change in diet and exercise? Because we've seen President Clinton, he looks great over, you know, the, since the last surgery, he's kept thin and kept fit. Um, how much will that impact his health going forward? Well, I think it's extremely important. It's, he did what ideally you should do after having a procedure that he had five years ago. What he's trying to do is try to decrease the risk of this happening again. Unfortunately, it did, but ultimately, with this procedure, the hope will be that it won't happen again. It'll decrease his risk in long term significantly. All right, Dr. Keith Churchwell. Dr. Churchwell, we really appreciate it. Thank you.